Hello and welcome back to another Japan Crate video. Today it's all about the Shinkansen or the trains of Japan. I think the kind of future bullet trains or something. I'm not fully sure what the theme of this box is, but we'll discover it together. But as you can see on the front, it does uh, primarily feature a train. We've got Tokyo Station uh, written on the things along with a lucky cat there. I think that's a sushi, right? Or it's the Pepsi logo, uh, one of the two. We've got Sure and other different things. And we've got the Moo and Tokyo Tower. There you go. And on the side, we have the website. As always, I'll link it below, Japan Crate. That is their social media. That's the back. And on the back, the theme is presumably Bullet Train. Um, not to be confused with, there was a movie recently, right? An action movie called Bullet Train or Train to Tokyo or something. But as we can see here, it's all about the futuristic bullet trains of Tokyo. Um, shout out to all you train fanatics out there. Right, I'm going to go slice this open and we'll take a look inside. Alright, as always, I'm going to be delving my hand in and I'll pull out the items and we'll discover them together. Because I don't want to ruin them either. Oh, slip of paper just fell out. Okay, I guess we'll see what that is. Ah! This is a subway ticket. Haha, <laughs> we're going from Shin Yokohama to Tokyo. Um, and it is Kodama 718, car 12, 2600 yen. That's uh, no pro. Oh, oh, it's the prize card thing. Okay, I got you. So, yeah, every month they do a prize card thing. No prize this time. I forgot they did prizes anyway. Uh, right. And this is the cheat sheet. I'm not going to be looking inside, but I will take a quick look just in case there is anything else. Never mind. This this isn't the cheat sheet at all. This is um, talking about the 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 rail ticket thing. And um, we got the subway ticket, which is no price. Um, and yeah, that is just saying what's on the back there. I presume there is a cheat sheet here, right? Or maybe not. Maybe they've done away with the cheat sheet. Um. Cool, right. Well, that's going to be handy. Um, so now we don't know any of the snacks. Well done, Japan Crate. That's. Uh, well, let's go through them and try and make the most sense as we can. Oh, hey, so this, I believe we got it last time, is the DIY kit. It's a. Oh, is it the time before? It's a Ramune ice cream DIY kit, basically. Um, kind of make foam. As you can see there, you kind of mix stuff in and you put it in the cone. And it looks like ice cream, but it tastes like Ramune. Uh, i tell you what it's called, but I mean, the cheat sheet's not going to tell us. And I'm not going to bother translating all of these. Oh, okay. So this is Watakaru. And uh, it feels like candy floss. It's very, very fluffy. It feels like a pillow, actually. Um... Yeah, I, is that a monkey, a saru? I don't know what that is meant to be, or, or that. Very cool. Uh, candy, I haven't had candy floss in years. I genuinely haven't had any since I was a child. Um, right, next up, we've got ka, Kano. Kano, I think? That, um, pickle, I'm guessing, is the flavour. Because it looks like pickles. Ooh, gherkins. This is an interesting one. Okay, so these are pickle or habanero, I guess, but they look more like gherkins to me. Uh, or are they? Maybe they are habaneros, because they've got that thing and pickles don't really, do they? Or maybe they do. Well, this is a mystery. Um, if we had one of those cheat sheet things, we'd know, but we don't. So let me know in the comments below. Um, cano. I swear that says cano. Wait, there is a sticker here. This is a plum flavoured snack. Okay, so are they just skipping out the middleman and putting like stickers on the back? Maybe? That's interesting. So this is plum flavoured potato chips. Very interesting. Uh, let's go for another big one. Ooh. Hey, we have pua, pua de rice. Okay, um, so these are potato chips as well. That. That looks like papaya or something. Uh, there is a sticker on the back here, which is cool. Um, hmm. I'm genuinely not sure what this is. Sea urchin flavoured snack. That 
Wow, that is not what I would have guessed ever, I don't think. Sea urchin, I don't think of... Uh, Nagi? No, no. Uh, ah, what's it called? That I've never tried sea urchin. Um, I've had some sushi, but I'm not, I'm not that well versed in sushi, actually, despite the fact I do like my Japanese snacks. In terms of Japanese stuff... Okay, we've got these things again. Um, I was about to do one of these in Japanese snack reviews, actually. They are grape flavoured. There's three gummy kind of things in there that's like juice flavoured. And one of them is really sour. Uh, and the others aren't. So, yeah. That's pretty cool. I do quite like these. Uh, two of them are really nice. The sour one, the sour one's not too bad either. <gasps> Yo, is this Haichu? This is Haichu. Let's go Haichu. Um, Kasumodo. Uh, cool. Uh, is it, is that, um... Oh, hang on, wait. Kasumodo Happy Chew. Okay. Um, is that per persim persimmon? Persimmon? Uh, or whatever they're called. They're kind of like... Um, uh, they're, they're fruit of some kind. I've had them once. Uh, that is really cool, though. I haven't had Haichu in years. Um, they have a really distinct taste and texture and everything. I may keep one this to the side. I think I'll have one of those at the end, actually. Because... Uh, Man, I forgot how much I missed Taichu. Uh, ooh. Uh, we have... Crackers. Sankaku Crackers. Okay. I'm guessing these are going to be plain, or are they? Vegetable flavour. Vegetable. Um, and I think that's flavour. I think I'm starting to recognise the kanji for flavour. I really do need to learn kanji. Um, it's been too long. Okay. So these are vegetable crackers. That's pretty cool. Next up, also we are flying through this episode because, well, we don't have a cheat sheet or a need to consult. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Um, hmm. This. Coco na no something. I don't know what that is. It's a guy studying. It's a Kit Kat. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. I don't know what flavour this is, but... That is cool. If anyone does know, let me know in the comments below. That dude is stud Ooh, studying. And we got another one. Let's go. Okay, and this lady is studying or on her laptop and eating. There's a clock next to her. Is she doing an exam? I don't know. I like the illustrations, though. They're very cute. Did I feel the third one? Uh, oh, I did. Yes, let's go. <laughs> What's this one? Oh, okay, it's, it's studying dude again. Okay, well we got three we got three mini Kit Kats now. It's not the full bag like we used to get back in the day. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain. I mean three is pretty good. Oh. Pandaro. Mel <gasps> Yo Okay, so this is melon pan, but pandaro. Uh because it's it's panda themed. So melon pan is melon bread basically. If you've ever been to a Japanese convenience store or anything, uh, you've probably tried some. It's very sweet bread, it's very nice. This is more of a biscuit thing. And it's panda themed. That's really cool. And we've got a uh, spot the difference. Can you spot the difference? I don't care. Right, on to the next. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we've got four of them now. Oh. And it's um, two ladies chatting to each other. Cool. Okay. Uh, I think that's it for the Kit Kat, surely, right? Uh, yeah. Ooh, okay. <clears throat> so, we got these a few, uh, uh, crates ago as well. This is Poriki, and this is a brown sugar flavour. Um, they're quite nice. They're not, they're not the best. It's one of those things where, kind of, the savoury snack company do a sweet version but it tastes better with the savoury stuff, like they don't do sweet stuff, but, you know. Um, it's nice, though, that I, I enjoyed it, but it wasn't, it wasn't my favourite. Um, I'm not, I'm not wild on brown sugar flavoured stuff. Um, maybe that's just me. Ooh. We, I, I filmed this recently, this is Sequoia strawberry chocolate so it's got like biscuity stuff inside the chocolate on top is pink and strawberry flavored and the bottom is regular chocolate this is really nice actually i'm glad i've got another one because um yeah this this is top tier if you like strawberry flavored chocolate you'd uh you'll enjoy that i think oh we've got it <gasps> is it 
Yo! Uh, oh, okay, so, um, I think the video's gone up. I can't remember which part I did her in. But e ages ago, we've got a little um, Japanese cardboard truck with mints in. And I think this has mint as well. Little mint candies. They're like tiny. They really are tiny. But we've got a whole ass train this time. This is like twice the size of the truck we got. That is really cool. I do like these things. I know they're probably just going to go straight to recycling and I, I don't have the room to keep all the cool Japanese snack things I have, but very nice. Um, from what I remember, the mints in the, the truck were, they were fine. We've got Hello Kitty. I could feel this before I saw it. Uh, very nice. It's like a multi-layered chocolate snack thing. Uh, I think the bow actually tastes of strawberry chocolate. For some reason it's not focusing. Very cute. Uh, Hello Kitty. I mean, I'm not, not into Hello Kitty, but I don't dislike Hello Kitty either. We have, ah, these are chocolate puffs, basically. They're kind of chocolate puffs. Uh, very light. Uh, they're a very small snack, but you know, they're, they're quite nice. Next, oh, next up we have one of these again. So these are little chocolate um, fortune things, I think, are these the, these the one with the individual, no, okay, so, um, basically the whole game is you ask the chocolates a question, you pop a random one, and then, like, green is a yes, orange is a maybe, yellow is a maybe, and red's a no, or something like that, I don't know, there's, there's a game involved with these, um, they are quite nice chocolates, though, the shell is quite crunchy, and satisfying. Next up, we... Ooh, yo, let's go. Okay, so um, these are really nice. They are cherry-flavoured gummies with, like, soft jelly... Uh, a j soft jelly centre, I guess. They are very nice. We've had these before. I think these came in the February crate. Uh, next up, we're quite low now. We... Ooh. Ooh, wow, that is... Uh, Choco. I think this is a small chocolate bowl, and small being the operative word, this is, good lord, that is like a 10 yen uh, snack if ever I saw one, or maybe it's 100 yen, couldn't be 100 yen, surely. Surely no one's paying 100 yen for that, but I know there's the Degashi shops where you, you spend your little uh, pocket money, oh yo, oh my god, wow, okay, talk about blast from the past. This is another thing that I had years ago. Oh, okay. This is Strawberry Ramune. Um, so these are like mints, I think, but they come in a Ramune-shaped bottle. So if you can see here, there's like the little dips and stuff, and that's the cap. That's the fake ball you'd push in. It goes up and stuff. I had a small collection of these, actually, like plastic Ramune bottles, but... I, I I ran out of room on shelves and I didn't really need them, but these are a blast from the past. I had these before. I love them. They are very nice. However, I did have strawberry mint flavoured stuff. I think it was like last Japanese snack reviews. They did not work. The, like the, the mixture of strawberry flavour and mint just... It wasn't great. Uh, let me check. Oh, no. We all... <laughs> <laughs> you know what else is there? We've got another Kit Oh, dude! It's uh, it's just a lady... I hope that's a Kit Kat, not a cigarette. Because uh, you shouldn't be smoking, young lady. But yeah, there we are. Oh, it's a chalk of some kind? I don't know. That's like five of them now. We've had half a pack. Which isn't bad, actually, because I was just expecting one of them. I think that is it. Apart from the drink. What drink is it? Milk coffee. Um, okay. Oh, wait. Is this the... No, maybe it isn't. Um, I did have, like, jelly milk coffee once, which was a strange one. I think this is just regular milk coffee in a, uh, in a sort of uh, bottle. Pretty cool. Um, I am lactose intolerant, so I won't be drinking a lot of this. But I will give it a go. Anyway, I think that's everything for this crypt. That is the inside, if anyone wants to see the cool neon Japanese signs. Um, right, I'm going to go put everything together now in a pleasing manner, and I'll BRB. Alright, I'm back. 
Uh, so I'm gonna pop one of these high chews uh, into my mouth and give it a go biobby. There you go, there was actually a pull tab thing. So yeah, high chew, uh, just in case you've never had them. They're kind of like really chewy gum kind of things, so I'm gonna go give this a try. All right, I'm back. So I used Google Lens, and apparently this is pumpkin flavor, which kind of makes sense. That does look like a pumpkin there. That was really nice. Um, high chew a very unique flavor, and uh, well, texture more than flavor, but flavors as well. I've had quite a few over the years. The pumpkin one's really nice. Um, it's a lot sweeter than standard pumpkin sweets, but you know, still very nice. Um, yeah, so that about wraps up this episode of uh, Japan Crate. I will say, um, I think this is probably the, the first episode I've done where I have started to regret my purchase. Um, the cheat sheet doesn't even make, well, it's not a cheat sheet at all, uh, unless this is like, oh, you have to scan it on the app to go through. I did not realise that. I mean, maybe that's a smart move. I'll take a look at it after the video, maybe. Um, I guess it cuts down on printing paper, but I am paying money. I'm paying more money than I did before. You know, maybe you could, maybe you could still print it out. Because, I mean, cost cutting I understand, but you're not passing the cost cutting on to the customer. So, where it's still paying the same amount of money, they're just paying less money. Uh, and also, kind of talking about that, we've got an incredible amount of duplicates this month. Um, a, a shocking amount, to be honest. I would say, like, a third of this box are things we've had before, to the point where I didn't need the cheat sheet because I already knew. I'd either had them before or I remember pulling them from a box and I haven't eaten them yet or I'm about to. So yeah, um, if I was to rate this box, I'd probably rate it one of the lowest. Um, it didn't it didn't have anything much going for it. And as well, uh, if you remember, the last two boxes have had like the non-snack items with the kind of cool like gachapons or whatever. Um, this one didn't either. So I've got to say, this has not been great. Um, ironically, actually, two days ago, my renewal for Japan Crate came up. So... I think I'm going to cancel that renewal for now, so we'll have three more months of Japan Crate, I think. And then I'll give another subscription box a go. I think that's probably for the best. It's nice, don't get me wrong, but I can, I've started to see the writing on the wall. The Japan Crates are arriving really late. I mean, this one is May's Crate, and we're in the second... Well, the, the first full week of June is about to start. You know, it's not great. I don't know where June's is. I don't know if it's coming soon. Maybe it'll arrive in two days' time, like it did a few uh, months ago, where I got two back-to-back -back within a week. I don't know. Um, but yeah, overall, the price has gone up. Uh, it's less consistent. And we didn't even get the non-snack item this crate. So, um, it's fine. I mean, the, the snacks are cool. I like them. But I think, I think I'm going to give it... Three more months, and then I'm going to cancel the renewal. Um, sorry to end on a downer there. <laughs> Let me know in the comments, though, if you guys like any of these snacks, or if you've tried any, or if I've got any translations wrong. Please let me know. Um, and yeah, I'll let you get on with it. Thank you guys very much for watching. I will be making another Japan Great video next month. And keep an eye out for Japanese snack reviews, where I'll be actually reviewing the snacks themselves. Um, th those are kind of fun, anyway. And I'll keep doing those, even if I don't get Japan Great. But right. And until next time, goodbye.